Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sean from All Things EV. And in this video, I wanna unpack Tesla's actual range of their electric semi-truck and compare it to other electric semi-truck makers. This is part two of a video series on the Tesla semi-truck. The first video I discuss and dive deep into what I estimate the gross vehicle weight is of the actual truck, not factoring in the trailer and cargo. This matters a great deal to businesses because the heavier the truck, the less cargo you can carry. And the amount of cargo that you can carry does impact the range of the vehicle. So if you haven't watched that video, I will link it up and put it down in the video description as well as pin it to a comment. I recommend watching that. And now let's dive into an analysis of the actual range of the Tesla semi-truck as well as compare it to other electric semi-truck makers. During their delivery event several weeks ago, Tesla highlighted a range test of the Tesla Semi at its max gross vehicle weight of 82,000 pounds. They managed to get 500 miles on a single charge. Now, the catch with that is, which they didn't highlight, but I think is important, is that they did that on 93% state of charge. That means that there was 7% additional range on the battery pack that they could have driven. And if you add that 7% to the 500 miles, that would yield 535 miles of total range from 100% charge all the way down to zero. Elon stated on Twitter that the semi-truck has a 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency. With that important piece of information, we can back into what the size of the battery pack is. 535 miles times 1.7 is a 909.5 usable kilowatt hour battery pack. As an aside, in that same tweet, Elon did say that there is a clear path to 1.6 kilowatt hours per mile, which would yield with that same formula 568 miles on a single charge. He also said that it might be possible to get to 1.5 kilowatt hours per mile, which would push that semi-truck over 600 miles. At a thousand kilowatt charge rate or one megawatt, that yields a 70% range in only 30 minutes. And the more I researched the Tesla semi-truck and compare it to other EV semi-trucks, the more I realize how groundbreaking this is to the trucking industry. For example, both the Kenworth T680E and the Peterbilt 579EV yield 150 miles with a 400 kilowatt hour battery pack. It can take a peak charge rate of 120 kilowatts, which will yield an 80% charge in 160 minutes. The Freightliner E Cascadia has 120 miles and will do an 80% charge in 90 minutes, and that can take a peak charge rate of 270 kilowatts. The Volvo VNR has a range of 275 miles, can charge 80% in 90 minutes, and take a peak charge rate of 250 kilowatts. And last on the list is the Nikola Tray, which yields 335 miles of range, will do an 80% charge in 160 minutes, and can take currently 175 kilowatt peak charge rate, and they do say on their website that with an over-the-air software update in 2022, it will be increased to a 350 kilowatt charge rate. Obviously, the total miles of range on a single charge is important to a business because that means that you can travel further without stopping. But what I think brings the Tesla semi-truck into focus is when you compare all of these other competitors based on efficiency per mile. As stated, the Tesla semi-truck gets a 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency. The most efficient competitor to the Tesla semi-truck yields a 1.99 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency. Next on that list is the Volvo VNR, which yields a 2.05 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency. 
Then the Nicola Trey has a 2.22. And last on the list is the Kenworth and the Peterbilt, since they're built off of the same platform, and they yield a 2.64 kilowatt hour per mile efficiency. And charge rate is also worth mentioning here. This is another area where Tesla is just leaps and bounds ahead of its competition because they offer it as a product and have charged millions, hundreds of millions of miles, maybe billions of miles at this point of electricity into their current fleet. And they didn't just take their current 250 kilowatt peak charging rate technology that they use right now at their consumer vehicle superchargers and add it to the truck. They up the ante and increase that charge rate to one megawatt. This is about three times faster than the next closest competitive charge rate. So not only does a Tesla semi-truck drive further than all its competitors, but it's got a faster charge rate by a factor of three, as well as the most efficient electric semi-truck on the road to date. In my personal opinion, Tesla is really showing their maturity in the transportation space. And to give it a familiar analogy, it's like comparing college kids playing a game of pickup basketball at a rec gym versus NBA players in their prime. There really is no contest to these. The Tesla semi-truck is significantly better. Now, the one thing that we don't know is what is the cost of the Tesla semi compared to some of these other competitors? That's what I'll cover in this next video, so make sure and subscribe and like this video. This is Sean from All Things EV. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.